I stumbled on the information that there used to be a, a plant there that had been issued permit that included PCB. So I told our staff in the soil testing department to go up and test the soil along that way before they decided to go and build that bridge where they were planning on building it. And they went up there and found out that that mud was just filled with PCB. And so rather than go to the expense of cleaning all that out, they just moved the bridge downstream so that they didn't have to cross that floodplain. And the other interesting thing about that was that the, 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 <coughs> the, the, fresh, the, the drinking water intake for the city of Rome was just downstream from that on this Nile River. So we may have saved some serious problems with people exposed to PCBs by finding out about that and knowing how that works. Really? Yeah, really? Oh, that's cool. That's nasty. Look. Trying to get some action. I got Julie, man. Julie, man. Julie, man. I can't wait to board. Julie! I don't know what it is. Wow. I'm trying to find the grounds a lot that's going in the forest. I'm saying we got here. <laughs> long way. Went a long way. Going to the forest. Do it. Oh my god. Okay, if we die. We die. <laughs> Farewell video. <laughs> Farewell video. <laughs> Last yeah, will and testament. Come on, Mama. To the forest. We're going to the forest. Last will video. I got to turn around. We're going to the forest now. There's a new scary movie. It's going to be a movie. Look at that number one. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We got a lizard, you guys. Cool, lizard. Like I said, you never know what you're going to find. Sorry. What is that? I mean, it's called the Carolina Anole or Green Anole sometimes. Yeah. And while I'm holding him, he may change color because they do that a lot. Can I hold it? Yeah, let's talk about him. Okay. 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 Now, I'm going to hold him up so everybody can see him. Uh, okay. This is a Carolina anole. And lizards, of course, belong to what major group? The reptiles. They're reptiles. Now, however, lizards and snakes are different organisms. You can say, well, that's easy. Lizards have legs. Well, this one does, but there are several species of lizards that also live in Georgia that do not have legs. Does anybody know how I could tell a lizard from a snake if a lizard didn't have legs and had a long, thin body, kind of like a snake does? The head. The tongue. The way you can tell, there's two ways you can tell. One is that lizards have got external ear openings. So if you look behind his head and you look closely right there, you'll see there are openings there. They don't have ears stick out like we do, but they've got an opening inside their head. Snakes don't have that. The other thing is that lizards have got eyelids and snakes do not. So he'll close and open his eyes for us periodically if you watch him. And that gives their eye also a very different look. He doesn't like those I've gotten close to. I can't actually get to a lizard. Well, he might be yeah, yeah, hurting. They hurt. They're very tiny animals. Is that they're a baby or an adult? They're totally harmless, really. Now they have claws. If you're looking at a lizard as opposed to a salamander, which is an amphibian, who can tell me what the difference is between those? <coughs> Do the salamander and salamander the got webbed hands or something? Salamanders do not have claws on their feet for one thing and they do not have scales on their body so the animal has scales reptiles generally are much more terrestrial type animals than salamanders are salamanders generally live in or around very moist areas there are some terrestrial salamanders but you'll find them under rocks and things and under the under the soil whereas lizards live out in much drier areas and their skin is fairly impervious to losing water. So, some lizards 
like the skinks we have around here, have got the capability to cut their own tail off. That's called autonomy. And I have held uh, some, some of those five-line skinks on occasion and had them, in fact, usually it's when they get really scared they do that. So I had like an STT class and I was holding one and all the kids leaned in at once and it frightened the little animal and he cut his tail off and the tail falls on the table and starts wiggling around. Oh and this little girl freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love There's to see that. She did that. Boy, she screamed. <laughs> oh, goodness, it was an event. But, but what happens is neat because the tail will sit there and wiggle on the table rather frantically for a while. And as long as there's, as long as those nerves are firing and that can go on in this little feedback loop that that part of the tail has got, that tail can wiggle for as much as 45 seconds to a minute or so. And what that does is, it's a, it, it's a way the lizard can get away from a snake or some animal that catches it. The snakes aren't all that bright, you know. So a snake catches this lizard, right, say right in the vital area here, and the lizard then cuts his tail off, and the lizard is really still, and the tail is sitting over there wiggling like crazy, and the snake thinks, he's getting away, you know. I got him, but he's getting away. So it'll turn loose, they're so attuned to attacking motion that the snake will release the lizard and grab the tail and the lizard gets away. And that happens, they've done a lot of experimentation, that, that, that happens over 60% of the time. 